when you go over here, you don't need to use arm and body, then it becomes 2B. And it's really hard to control. In your case, because you've been using a lot of arm, now when you start to use the body, you will feel like it's hard to control. We need to think about how we are catching the ball, right? Because we are trying to move the body to make that pedal move in that swing direction, right? So probably uh, it's a combination of going up and moving forward to loop the ball. And obviously we cannot have the pedal move in a linear um, movement. So we have to actually make like this circular motion and when the tangent line of the circular motion or the perpendicular is facing the target is when you catch the ball. Mm. So when you go over here, you don't need to use arm and body, then it becomes 2B. And it's really hard to control. In your case, because you've been using a lot of arm, now when you start to use the body, you'll feel like it's hard to control. So the best idea for um, you is actually have the pedal right behind the ball. Like this, try to start like this. Okay. Like if this is where you're gonna catch the ball, you're just gonna put the pedal here, mm -hmm. not here. Okay. And get there with your body, so when you come back, you just use the body to come back again. So really make your swing smaller because now we don't need to make big swing. Yeah, big swing is just slow for us to prepare. It's harder to make the shot. It's more inconsistent. So to make it more consistent, just body, your body will find the ball, right? Here, here, and then catch. Here, catch, here, catch. Then this. 